What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Aviation 767. Today we have a brand new video. The brand new Springfield International remodeled video for you guys today. This remodel took about maybe a week time, so not that long, but I'm not saying it is above every other aviationer. It's probably even below the average uh, aviation product produced by a YouTuber or just in general. Um, I just want to say it is looking good and I hope you guys do like the expansion. If you do, you can leave the comment down below. Let me know if you like it or you don't. And sadly, if you want me to go back, I can't really go back. Uh, so super sorry for that. But it is really, really cool what we have done here. We have added five new international gates. Moved American over to the main terminal, put the uh, other carriers on the B terminal, and we have this brand new terminal to the right, right here. As you can see, that is our little regional terminal now that we have. So super exciting, but apart from that, we're going to go and get into the video. Starting off here, we have this American Airlines Boeing 777-300. He is just getting ready for pushback with a flight out to London Heathrow. The time frame for this update is roughly around dusk, so 6 p.m., uh, through 7 p.m. so 6 to 7 p.m. but right here we have this airflot a350 900 he is going to be taking a flight out to Reykjavik now here just that gate getting some fuel and baggage on board we have this American Airlines Boeing 757 200 he's going to be making a flight out to Cancun here just that gate getting some catering on board we have this American Airlines in the Piedmont livery, Airbus A319. He's going to be going to Cedar Rapids. Now here we have this American Airlines Boeing 737 800 and before you or before you go in the comment section, you might be wondering if this is all American terminal, why do you have a JetBlue aircraft? That's a great question actually. I appreciate you asking. If you didn't, well, here's a little info on that. I have this JetBlue Airbus A320 here at the Concourse A American side just to see if I want to keep those two gates 6 and 7 open or if I want to close them off. This is a um, kind of something I'm thinking about because I don't need all these gates about now. I may need them in a couple of years or months even when I collect more American aircraft or any aircraft depending on what my situation looks like. So if you were wondering, that's why we have the JetBlue aircraft right there. Like we were saying though, here we have this American Airlines Boeing 737-800. He has just arrived in from Mexico City. Now here just pushed back, we have this American Airlines Embraer Ear J-175. He's going to be making a departure out to Miami. Here just taxiing off the runway, we have this American Airlines Airbus A321. He has just arrived in from San Francisco. Here just a gate just arriving in from JFK we have this JetBlue Airbus A320 like I said he has just arrived in from JFK now here taxing towards the runway we have this US Airways CRJ 900 he's going to be departing for a flight out to Dayton now here also heading down towards the runway we have this Breeze Airways Airbus A220 he's going to be making a departure out to White Plains this evening now here, just getting ready for takeoff, we have this Qantas Airbus A380-800. He is going to be making a departure out to Sydney, Australia. Now over here, we have this UPS MD-11. He has just arrived in from Miami. Now here, starting off Concourse B, we have this Delta Airbus A321 getting bags on board, and he's going to be making a departure out to Boston. Now there behind him in the United Star Wars livery, which is a awesome and beautiful livery. We have this United Boeing 737-800. He's going to be making a departure out to Chicago O'Hare. And finally we have this JetBlue Airbus A320. He's just arriving in from New York EWR. Transferring to the other side, we have this Allegiant Airbus A319. He is going to be departing out to for a flight to Las Vegas and here behind him we have this Frontier Airbus A320 
he is also has he has also just arrived in from Denver and he's going to be doing that turnaround back out there momentarily. Now you're just pushing map we have the Southwest Boeing 737-800. He's going to be making a departure out to Chicago Midway. Now here in our new little area, this is what I like to call the stand area I guess. Uh, it's for aircraft that uh, need to go into maintenance. So this was tons of Boeing 747-400. He has been, or he arrived in from Munich, and he uh, was having some difficulties with the aircraft, so they're gonna do some maintenance on him in a couple of days. Here, moving on to our cargo section, we have this FedEx Boeing 757-200. He is gonna be departing for a flight out to Memphis, Tennessee. And there to the right of him, we have this FedEx Boeing 767 300 he's getting fuel and he's also getting ready for a departure and he's going to be heading out to Ontario, Canada. Now here at our only international hard stand we have this United Boeing 767-300. He's going to be departing to London Heathrow. Now here just pulling in the gate we have this KLM Airbus A330-200. He has arrived in from Amsterdam. Here just pulling in the gate we have this Prime Air Boeing 737-800. He has arrived, or he is, yes, he has, eh, he has arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. And here, the final aircraft for our cargo aircraft, we have this UPS Boeing 757-200. He's getting some packages on board and he's going to be departing out to Oakland. Now here for our cargo section, we have this Delta Series A700 getting catering on board, and he's going to be departing for a flight out to, let's go, Detroit. Final aircraft of the update, we have this US Airways Embraer Air J145. He is just arriving in from Philadelphia. And here just taxiing from the regional terminal, we have this United Express Air J170. He's going to be departing out to Chicago O'Hare. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys also like the brand new expansion. This is an amazing and a hard work, hard work expansion. So if you guys do like it, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know if there's anything else. We can always remove this regional terminal and put something else there for the time. Because it is not uh, fully set down yet, it is just a thought. I appreciate everyone watching. Have a great day. Bye.